Ah, what's in the shop today? Ooh, now these are really cool in red and black. Full spirit, yeah, that looks cool as well. Wait a second, what's this? Am I getting deja vu? Didn't we just do this event? Ultimate Scrap. There's a cool nameplate, secure access, an interesting prototype pattern, Ignitable. It's another red and black costume. Oh, this does look very good. All right, I guess I've got to do it. I thought I was just getting deja vu. That's a lot of wins. Oh no. All right, here we go. So first level I had was Space Race. Hooray, everyone likes Space Race. And now I can take a minute to explain why I am using this costume in this video. So for those of you who don't know, this is the Oliver costume. I don't think it's been in the game for a little while in the shop at least, but this is based on the actual former Mediatonic staff employee, Oliver, age 24. Now Oliver used to run all of the Fall Guys social media and did a great job at it. There was lots of funny things, lots of sillies, lots of memes, you know, it was just quite a big part of Fall Guys character on the internet back in that time and probably did quite a lot to propel the game to the kind of viral heights that we got to know it by. But the day that this event came out was actually the day that Oliver posted on Twitter that he wouldn't be working for Mediatonic or Epic Games anymore. Uh, he actually went from doing the Full Guys social media to the Fortnite one, but he's doing neither now. Unfortunately, he's going to go do some other stuff, so good luck, Oliver, and we will be wearing the Oliver costume today. Ooh. Is Oliver going to survive? Absolutely. So, the first final we had here in solos was Thin Ice. Who doesn't like a little bit of Thin Ice? Things were getting slightly precarious, but I managed to secure myself a nice island a little bit bigger than all of the other beans. Oh, I'm sorry. This one's just a little bit too far for you to jump to. And there's only one other bean left, so it looks like a nice, easy win for our first solos there. Well, it was actually the second, but we don't have time for losses in this video. There is way too much to get through. Well done, Oliver. So there we go, triple gold to kick things off. Next up, we had a little bit of medieval mayhem where I get a second place, and in this, first place medals do actually count. Part of this event is to actually get gold medals, so you really want to get those survival levels or just first place in the race round. It's nice for first place to mean something. Then we got perfect match, and this green bean decided to grab me repeatedly for no reason. Maybe they just wanted to give Oliver a hug. And then we got this nonsense. Stomping ground, really? Still? Poor Oliver. But we qualified, and then we got a blast ball final. Hooray! Now it's me against the person that got first place in the first round on Night Fever. How dare they? Stealing the gold medals, meaning I've got to get an extra one. Oh dear, things were getting spooky and scary, but we were doing okay. The other person took out the other bean, so now it's just a 1v1 scenario for me and the bin bean. Are they trash? Who knows? Oh, they almost got me there. It was so close, they were ready to grab and push me off the edge. You could tell, but maybe I could get them with a trick shot at the end here. Oh yes. That's the second solos win complete. Next round we started off with a tail tag and I decided to employ a new strategy of just hiding underneath this pillar. Never really tried this before, but it's kind of dark and if you get your back against the wall, no one can really see your tail. All we can see is the red eyes of the Oliver costume looking, getting ready to ascend, ready to evolve until, unfortunately, someone did find me. <laughs> Does that strategy work? Maybe not. So I tried to find a new way of not playing the game to qualify. Does this one work? Eh, for a little while, until this uh, auto-grabbing bean came by. Never use auto-grab. Then we got Hoopsie Legends. I see a gold ring across the stage. Surely I couldn't get in, in time. But I was going against some mobile players, so I could. Then we got a Hexa Ring. I did my conventional destruction of the tiles. Now this person decided to keep grabbing me, but it seemed like they were lagging really badly. Whenever I grabbed them, I kind of like teleported and warped across the map towards them. Very strange, but yeah, I think they had quite a laggy connection. Unfortunate for them. That can be very overpowered in some levels though, especially with late grabbing. So I was trying to be careful here to keep a bit of distance. I did not want to get ghost grabbed by this red panda. We were running out of tiles quickly though, so I couldn't stay too far away from them. But unfortunately for them, I don't know what they did here, they just kind of bounced through the tiles. Again, that could be because they were lagging quite badly. But that's the last solos win required. Look, three of three. Hooray, we're achieving stuff. Look at that, we got the all fired up name. And we had a Lily Leapers battle against some kind of tomato with the weird variation at the end. First place, another gold medal for the event. Oh, this poor bean. This is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I'm just gonna let you watch this because it's that good. 
what's he up to? Oh, poor little guy. Oh, bless. Then we got this level, and I get to finally show you the shortcut that I found out from the creator of the map. They posted it on Twitter. Never knew. Secret speed arch up the top there. It's probably faster if you do it well as well. And once again, it's battling for first place against this tomato guy. But in the end, only one can get first place, and it was just me, and then the tomato got third. Next, we finally got a breakable objects level. You have to break 25 objects in this event. It doesn't sound like much, but if you're unlucky like me and you don't get these levels often, it's torturous. Then we got a jump showdown file, so this isn't a knockout now. And this guy riding a dinosaur decided that they were grabbing me. On the slowest bar rotation speed I've ever seen, like, I'm just not gonna get killed, so I took them out and, well, almost. I didn't quite. I tried to, but then this interesting thing happened. They kept trying to take me out, and then they gave up, and they tried to take out this pink bean instead, and just threw themselves off the map. Great job indeed. So these remaining three beans here, well, look at us! We managed to time it out because we didn't grab each other, so that's a free knockout crown for all three of us. Isn't it a great sight to see? This poor guy rubber banding across the map points. Give me them please. Next up it was time to do the team rounds, duos and squads, and I got some big help here from the legendary Full Guys player, Moam. Thank you very much Moam for joining. We can see a speed shoes wearing sweat up ahead and they did get second place, but Moam gets first place and I get third. Which means, first place squad position. Next up we got a bit of penguin pursuit here, and I managed to pick up a penguin pretty quickly at the beginning. It looks like blue team is doing very well for points here. Let's keep it up and hopefully secure a win. Oh, a win in duos. I did lose the penguin for a bit, but we got it back. It's been reclaimed. Oh, but not for long. The yellow hulk is such a weird thing to see. Then we got another penguin level after that. Penguin party. Pengu penguin pool party. That's the one. I remember all the level names now. Isn't that great? Got a penguin pretty quick here. Me and Moam doing the penguin points getting everything we need to qualify quickly. And we got Slime Scraper, yay, it's speedrun time, let's go. Who's gonna be faster, Octo Oliver or Moam Oliver? I'll give you a clue. Their name rhymes with Rome, but we're pretty much neck and neck at the first part. Good stuff. I didn't want to risk that shortcut, so I took my slightly easier one and then hoped I could get a speed boost from the bollards here. I did, but then unfortunately <laughs> it went very, very wrong. But we still qualified, so no harm done. And we got a crack and slam final for our first potential duos win, and my controller genuinely disconnected there. I wouldn't just run off the edge. So it's all down to Moam to get that first duos win. Can he do it? Uh oh. Uh oh. You got nothing to worry about. Moam is a professional. Full guys player. There is no chance we lose this game. I can assure you, look, you see the moves on this guy? Easy victory. We're the winners! Go Team Oliver! Too powerful, some say. Then we got the best spawn points in the world, but no worries, because we managed to get out ahead of the crowd, even despite those incredible spawn starting positions. And then, uh oh, we gotta get through the finish line, but the flipper's in the wrong place! This poor guy, honestly, this is the saddest thing I've seen watching Full Guys players for ages. We love the spectate function. This guy was trying everything and just it wasn't working until <gasps> they've only got a few seconds left. Uh, oh, saddest thing I've seen. And we got Blast Lantis, where I killed a man. Oh dear, that was uh, <laughs> incredible. And we got a Blast Ball final. Hooray, more explosions. Remember that guy I killed in the previous round? Oh, they cheated death this time. They did not fall in the slime. Well, maybe they did. Yeah, they couldn't cheat it twice. Sorry. That's the second duo's win in the bag. Oliver is evolving. Second duo's win complete. Full gold. Third duo's win coming up. And we have a bit of DoorDash to start things off. Followed by Button Factory, where I get a grand total of two buttons. Luckily, Moam gets all the rest, because I'm just really bad at this level now. Don't worry about it, because we qualify. Just like that. And we get Tiptoe, where I get the right tile everywhere I jump. Look, right tiles. Yep, yep, correct tiles. Oh, these are real. And, oh, I landed on the right one, and then I did. Then we push a hot dog onto the next square, get a nice 1-3 pointer, which gives us a hexaterrestrial final. One bean just falls in the slime all by themselves, but the final bean, they need a little bit of assistance here. They're not just going to fall in by themselves. I need to hug them into the slime for that win. That's it for the duo's wins. Now we're on to squad. Oh yeah, Team Oliver, let's go. Now I do incredibly well at full tilt. Look at this. You'll never see gameplay this good ever again. Please subscribe. Look, speed boost, doing the speed run strats. Can we get another? Oh, 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 don't worry. So I did so bad here that we just qualified without me getting even like halfway through the level. That's just the worst. Why are these people so angry? 
Why are there raspberries everywhere? I don't understand. But we qualified. They're still angry. What happened? What happened to these poor, poor bees? Then we get a tiptoe finale for the finale. Fancy that. And our random teammate actually manages to win this one for us. So, uh, well done. You just carried Octopool and Mo there. There we go. Yep. They grabbed that crown before anyone else got to even see it. What a legendary squad. Well done, random teammate. You're amazing. Next squad's game, and I jump off the map. In Skyline's Dumble, Mr. Beast blocks me from getting to the next stage, but eventually we do get through to the finish line, just about. Hooray! Then we get another little bit of speedrun action on Slime Climb 2. It's definitely called that, right? That wasn't just a beta thing. Surely, surely. But anyway, we qualify. We lose a teammate along the way. I think it was Mr. B. And then we get the most riveting gameplay you've ever seen. Yay, stomping ground. Then we get Lost Temple as a final. And some crazy stuff happens in this one. Look at me, absolutely flying across the level. Me and Moem do some really good plays here by taking separate doors because they're actually both the correct door somehow but only my one leads to the crown sorry mom i'll be grabbing the crown for the team this time sharing those win amongst the team oh look at us go even mr beast proud of the that was two squads wins down now we've got this one where i get knocked off of the map and then very narrowly hit a checkpoint for the final part of the map and just after that we get the god dive through the finish line brilliant and it's time for another little bit of the slime scraper and I mess up very badly. I was playing so badly on this day, I don't really know what was happening. Oh dear. But we managed to make it through. So everything was fine. Tickled by the flippers until I finally get through that finish. And then we get rock and roll. A level I've genuinely not played since it was unvaulted. I haven't played this game for years. I'm not even making that up. Does anyone even remember rock and roll? Is this a real level? Yeah, I remember it now with the people trying to stop us. But we're going to get eliminated from my first rock and roll in two years. I live for rock and roll. It's what I do. We can't possibly get disqualified from this one. So I use every trick in the book to ensure that our ball gets through that finish line and then I very happily tell everyone how well we've done. Qualified! Then we get a jump showdown final where I decide to be very evil. What an evil bean, look at me! Just taking out other beans and saying great job. Looks like there's just one enemy left. We were doing quite well on this one so I decided to take them out as well. There they go, full squad wipe, all of us remaining in the game. How's that for a squads win, eh? Pretty good. So. That's all the squad's wins completed, which means we're back to knockout. Thanks, Moam. It was a great playing game. So, back into knockout where I need two more solo knockout wins. Then we get this level where I get lost and repeatedly hit by the balls. I don't know where I was going, but eventually I did actually find my way. I'm sure there's a shortcut up there somewhere. I need to rewatch some of the speedruns of this level so I can figure out where it is. Then we got this little survival level where there's someone with the previous event skin. Can't be letting them get ahead of me. I'm after the new version. It's what's in fashion. Then I kind of forget how to play this level, but it wasn't too big of a deal because we qualified anyway. Which gave us a thin ice final. Yay, everything was going pretty well here until I get very nervous. I have no idea where to go. So I just decide to follow this guy because it looks like they're going to a larger amount of tiles. Please, can we get that second knockout win? We can. Woo, that was a stressful one. I think I got lucky there because I think the other bean kind of fell into the slime a bit. So that is knockout win number two. One more to go. Then we get this little bit of big fans action. There's some very sweaty beans ahead of me. They're doing incredible speed run strats. They're so quick but I managed to just about get second. I'd done a very good run here, so these people were ones to watch out for, remember them. So I decided to target them in the next round, because luckily I could, with the power of chicken. Be gone. Don't you just love this level? It's so good. Chicken PvP, super cool. Managed to avoid getting hit out of the ring myself, whilst repeatedly targeting the person who got first place. Oh, look at him, look at him, bless him. Unfortunately, they're gonna make it to the final. Next, I get grabbed by the person I beat earlier on. And uh, unfortunately, that meant it was no speed run through this level. I just had to qualify. No gold medal this time. And then we got our final. Yes, where Mr. First Place himself repeatedly followed me around saying hello. We get it. I can see you. Welcome to the video. Now I really didn't want to lose. The pressure was on and uh, the pressure was on them as well because they got knocked out. But there's still this spinning gramophone to watch out for. They started to grab me pretty vigorously at this point so I decided I would do whatever it took to try and win. Grabs were happening all over the place. Everyone trying to stay out of the slime with a little bit of emoting in between. But try as I might and they we couldn't seem to grab each other. 
until they decided a kamikaze move, but they dived a little bit too early, so we got that final knockout win that was required. Oh my, wow, what a tough game that was. Well played to all the beans involved, but there can only be one Oliver to win the them all. So that's all the knockout wins. What did I have left at this stage? Well, as you can see, I still need to break a lot of objects and play a lot of explore. But there's Oliver, half knighted up. So, I played some more knockout to try and get some more breakables done and played this final for the second time ever. The first time I played it, I was eliminated within 10 seconds, just sucked into a UFO. I didn't know how to play it, but now I do. And then we got it again. And this final is actually very easy when you know how to play it. As you can see here, only one person got eliminated. Every single other player just timed it out. It's a cool looking level, but in terms of gameplay, it's not as great. Then we got some more breakable objects, just what I needed. And that then sent us into a roll off final, where we managed to time out with four B so proud of us. Look at that. There were some grabbers early on and we managed to take them out ourselves so that four of us could share a knockout crown. Absolutely beautiful full guys gameplay. Then we got a lost temple which I managed to lose in spectacular fashion here by forgetting to dive again. Oops! <laughs> so the person with the costume already gets another knockout victory. But of course I didn't need the knockout wins at this point, I was just playing it to try and get breakable objects. But because they made me play more knockout, I was gonna get some more wins. Then we got this one again, and um, yeah. <laughs> this is just such an easy final when you know how it worked. And I still managed to actually take out someone in the last second of the level. Oops, sorry about that, that was kind of mean. They grabbed me earlier. Ah, uh, this is it. This is the most blessed sight to get when you're trying to search for these destructible objects. I didn't even want to get the high scoring ones, I just wanted to make sure I got as many points as I possibly could in this one because I needed them so badly. But we were going to get gold in the end so that I could still qualify. That's all the ones that I needed. Look at that, all the breakable objects! Which means we have 10 explore levels to play. Well, right after this brief content update. Now I'm actually going to show you clips of the last 10 that I played and honestly and harshly rate them. I'll rate this one 4 out of 10 because it was fast, it was kind of fun, and it wasn't horrible. <laughs> I mean, there is a pretty big shortcut you can take by just jumping off the map at an earlier point, which isn't great. So this next one is just running around in a black room getting points. I will give this one a 1 out of 10 because there is no gameplay. This next one had some interesting boxes, uh, a little bit of jumping and parkour. I'll give it a 3 out of 10 because it looks quite nice and it's short. That's about it. Now this one I will give a 4 out of 10 because it had some interesting gameplay ideas but you lose all of your speed quite regularly. It was pretty difficult to actually figure out how to retain the speed. Now this one I'm going to give a 2 out of 10. It has some gameplay and that's about it. <laughs> it's pretty short and you don't really do anything. Probably thrown together. This next one I will give a 2 out of 10. It looks okay, but it's got a few big problems holding it back. I told you I'd be really harsh on this. I'm judging this as if they were official Fall Guys levels. This is the biggest problem. You fall forever once you jump off the map, and you have to jump off at the end, so that's the other problem. You just stand in one place. Okay, this next one I'm going to give a 2 out of 10 because it has no real gameplay and it doesn't look particularly interesting. And this person decided to randomly grab me for no reason. Who grabs an explore mode? What are you going to gain? But they fell off, so I guess that first place was still mine, even though it doesn't matter in explore. Look at them. Look at this clown. You're going to go to clown college, buddy. Why are you grabbing an explore? I don't understand. Next we got score points. I'm going to rate this a 1 out of 10 because uh, it's just some random platforms and one point at the end. There is no gameplay. That's all it is. And then we got or Explore. Probably one of the worst levels I've ever seen. Apologies to anyone um, insulted by me in these, but I skipped this one because it's 50 points. There's no gameplay. You just hit stuff for like 10 minutes. I'm not doing that. Next we got Clock Fall. This one's actually pretty good. I give this one a 7 out of 10. It looks nice. It's got actual gameplay, and you can knock dazzling dance orb people into the void, and other people like that. And eventually, if you try really hard, you can even get a gold wolf with the check-in. Right here, here it is, line it up. So long, buddy. Great job. So yeah, this one looks nice, I like the rotating gears, I like the fan, it looks pretty good, the gameplay isn't the best, but... 7 out of 10. Then we get Tough Tableau, which was the 10th of the 10 Explore mode. Will it be good? No. I rate this 2 out of 10, 
because it has some nice colours. <laughs> and this person just kept grabbing me over and over again. There were loads of other spawners spawning in these five points. You can see shadows of them around the map. For, but for some reason, they were insistent on grabbing me. Look, look at this. What kind of behaviour is this? I just don't understand. But I still qualified before them anyway, and that meant I finally finished the event. Here it is. Here's the thing you've all been waiting for. All points acquired. Which means we get the ignitable costume. Look at this guy. He's so powerful. Is it better than the previous event costume? It is a recolor, but let's face it, red and black is always pretty much the coolest color combination out there. Very pleased to finally have this costume. It took a few hours to get this one, but there's of course one thing we gotta do to end the video. We gotta get a win with the costume, and you can see why you do not want this costume. If you wear this, this is what happens. Played a bit of finals marathon and instantly just get grabbed repeatedly by this other person. Look at this, I'm not making up anything. I didn't grab them at any point. They just grabbed me until they got knocked into the slime. Anyway, eventually that ended up with us three beans getting to a Lost Temple final. So all I need to get the crown here, of course, is to rush through these rooms and be the quickest to the end. Looks like I'm on the right track so far. Uh, maybe not. Bypass the frogs, hoping for a quick path to the crown, it's not gonna happen this time though. Almost got boosted up to the top of the map there. That doesn't happen very often. But a few more twists and turns and we are at the crown. Within seconds, let's grab it to get that final clip for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I know it's a long one. It's a long event. Good luck to you if you haven't finished the event yet. Well done if you've already done it because that's a lot of wins required. Is this the most amount of wins we've ever needed for an event? This is not going to be a common costume. It's going to be a difficult one for people to get. I really respect that. We need more events to give things to casual players, but at the same time it is nice to have costumes that are, you know, a bit of a challenge to get, so not everyone has them. But I do think we need something for the more casual players to get as well. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye!